In this solve along video, we'll explore factoring differences of two squares. And we'll do this extensively so that you'll be unstoppable in this topic. The techniques used for factoring polynomials are pretty varied. And one of the methods you can use for factoring polynomials is the, the difference, difference of two, two squares, squares formula. formula. So if you have no clue how to expand the add time subtract pattern for polynomial multiplication, or you haven't seen our video of it yet, then be, be sure, sure to, to click, click the, the I, I button. button. Because if you don't have that knowledge, I can guarantee that you'll be making these facial expressions watching any video about factoring differences of two squares. Factoring is just the opposite of expanding. Which is why factoring differences of two squares is highly dependent on your ability to recognize the add time subtract pattern. So, your, your experience, experience expanding, expanding this, this pattern, pattern will help you a lot. There will be a 3 second, second countdown, countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video to solve, solve it on your, your own, own first, first, and then continue playing the video to see, see if, if you're, you're correct. correct. Alright, let's start factoring, factoring differences, differences of, of two, two squares. squares. Difference of two squares literally mean that you are subtracting a perfect square from another perfect square. This means that the first thing you check is the minus sign in between the binomial. Because without that minus sign, the principle behind multiplying conjugates cannot be applied. Next, you can identify if a binomial is a difference of two squares by checking if both terms are perfect squares. And if they are, then label the roots as a and b. Equate a squared to r squared. Taking the square root of both sides will result in a equal to r. Equate b squared to 81. Taking the square root of both sides will result in b equal to 9. This binomial fits the difference of two squares pattern, which is a squared minus b squared, where a is equal to r and b is equal to 9. Last, factor the difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is, is r plus 9 times r minus 9. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. This binomial has a minus sign in between, so let's go straight to checking if both terms are perfect squares. Let a squared be equal to t squared, and let b squared be equal to 121. This binomial fits the difference of two squares pattern, which is a squared minus b squared, where a is equal to t, and b is equal to 11. Last, factor the difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is, is t plus 11 times t minus 11. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. By the way, please support Teach Me Animated Math by, by liking, liking this, this video. video. And if you're new to our channel, then click, click the, the subscribe, subscribe button, button and hit, hit that, that bell, bell icon. icon so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Okay, let's continue. Let's try something a bit more challenging. At first inspection, it doesn't look like any of the two terms are perfect squares, right? 
But since they seem to have a common factor, let's factor out its GCF, which is the integer 2. That's more like it. Both terms now look like they are perfect squares. 81x raised to 4 is equal to the square of 9x squared, and 16 is equal to 4 squared. Next, factor the difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to 9x squared, and b is equal to 4. Nice, right? But it, but doesn't, it doesn't end, end there. there. If you look closely at 9x squared minus 4, doesn't it seem like it would also fit the pattern for a squared minus b squared? So, let's try that. 9x squared is equal to the square of 3x, and 4 is equal to 2 squared. Let's factor another difference of 2 squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to 3x, and b is equal to 2. And because we can't factor any more at this point, the final, final answer, answer is, is 2 times 9x squared plus 4 times 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. This problem is very similar to the last one. Factor out its GCF, which is Z. Check if it fits the pattern a squared minus b squared. 625z raised to 4 is equal to the square of 25z squared, and 1 is equal to 1 squared. Next, factor the difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to 25z squared, and b is equal to 1. The binomial 25z squared minus 1 also, also fits, fits the pattern for a squared minus b squared. 25z squared is the square of 5z, and 1 is equal to 1 squared. Let's factor another difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to 5z, and b is equal to 1. And because we can't factor anymore at this point, the final, the final answer, answer is, is z times 25z squared plus 1 times 5z plus 1 times 5z minus 1. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. Now, if you love the chain factoring from problems number 3 and number 4, then you'll enjoy number 5 even more! <laughs> Factor the GCF of the binomial, which is 2x. Check if it fits the pattern a squared minus b squared. x raised to 8 is equal to the square of x raised to 4. And 256 is equal to 16 squared. Next, factor the difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to x raised to 4, and b is equal to 16. The binomial x raised to 4 minus 16 also, also fits, fits the pattern for a squared minus b squared. x raised to 4 is the square of x squared and 16 is equal to 4 squared. Factor the difference of two squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to x squared, and b is equal to 4. We can factor this some more. x squared minus 4 also, also fits, fits the pattern for a squared minus b squared. x squared is equal to the square of x, and 4 
is equal to 2 squared. Factor the difference of 2 squares using the formula for a plus b times a minus b, where a is equal to x, and b is equal to 2. That's, That's quite, quite long, long, right? But we can't factor this expression anymore, so the final, the final answer, answer is, is 2x times x raised to 4 plus 16 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. And here is the answer key for this worksheet. I hope you learned a lot about factoring, factoring differences, differences of, of two, two squares, squares in this solve along video. Just practice, practice, practice. practice. Factoring differences of two squares until it becomes second nature to you. And don't be afraid to make mistakes since correcting them is part of your learning process. Our next solve along worksheet video is about Factoring, factoring quadratic, quadratic trinomials with leading coefficient 1. This factoring technique involves trial and error, which is why we split it into multiple parts so that it is easier to understand. But don't worry because our video will have step-by-step -step solutions that are very easy to follow. So be sure to subscribe to Teach Me Animated Math. And don't miss out. See you next time!